are built by bricks and today we at this moment are on top of the Avengers Tower. Now these characters as you can see may look like custom characters but they are not. These are part of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. DLC pack. Two of the 14 different characters available. Now in a previous episode the top five worst characters in the Lego Avengers video game, I said I collected every character but DLC. This morning, I just purchased the season pass for DLC along with the Spider-Man character pack. And now, I have every DLC pack available for the Xbox One. So, I'm going to start off with the walkthrough of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. DLC pack. Let's go into space, and let's get up there. So I have activated the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. level, and it's doing kind of the video, but except with the mini levels like this, it will do it in a comic book. And a main character, or a character in general, will narrate what's happening. I'm going to skip this right now so we don't have to get bored by this. And by the looks of things, we're in Chinatown. So what we need to do is there are two bad guys beyond that door. We need to kick their butt. Well, that's what happens on this checkpoint at least. So I'm playing as Agent Melinda May. She's the narrator of the comic strip and a main character to the... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm guessing. I don't watch the show, so Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. fans don't get angry at me for that. I don't watch the show, but I'm going to start watching it soon. So, in the, comic in the comment sections, please tell me some of the main characters so to give me a head start and stuff. Anyway, with that said, we are going to continue trying to open this door. You need to build two switches and pull them, and well, push them in this case, to open that door. Then, what you do is you jump on these bounce pads and get up here. And step on these pressure plates. Now, you need to have a character stay on each pressure plate because if you step off, it will deactivate. So keep on those. And the second player, AI, knows that what's happening so it will stay there right now we are kicking her butt whatever her name is i don't exactly remember but like i said i'm not into agent social at this moment in time so don't get angry with me at that anyway i need to stop her and i know his name lincoln he is a electric dude literally he can control te i don't want to say technology but he can control electricity there <laughs> anyway we need to get beyond that wall stop them so when i first did this i didn't have any idea what i was supposed to do so i just kept walking and smashing and i eventually found this point where i needed to save her and it says on top of the screen there are three shield agents you need to you need to save so what you do is you destroy that wall, then kick these guys, destroy this one, then you'll need to destroy those two barriers, which will have suddenly become act active to destroy. Once you destroy them, you have the bricks to build a thing. It's pretty much a claw you need to use to bring up that big boulder right there but you can see here it's not activated that's because you need to build that then once you build that the shield thing has suddenly become activated you click it as either character and it will activate as you can see here the claw activates bringing up the boulders saving her so you're gonna need to do that two other times but not the same thing like save other shield agents by doing something close to that. So this guy's stuck in the fire. It took me a while to find this my first time. So what you need to do is you need to go to the back and find this area. 
go further back and you'll find sparkles, which is where you activate this as Agent May. I'm always guessing I'm on the way. Anyway, it might. Well, for me, it takes a while to do this sometimes. Anyway, once you've eventually found this, you will free her. Well, that man, I should say. And once you free, once you activate that, it'll kind of that will start to vibrate, you could say, and it'll activate a water hose where it will eventually put out the fire. And then he is free. Just give me a sec. There, he is free. So once you've done once you've done that, then the Quinjet right there will then shoot that ladder and you can climb up to get Lincoln. You I've actually I actually tried to take him down before when I was trying to find a way um, past it and he tries to tase you. So what you need to do is you need to get up here, climb on this tightrope, and while he's distracted with the chaos, you need to knock him down. And that will save the final person who's trapped in the, ele the electric shield. The Quinjet will then blow up this dirt barrier and you can cross where you will battle that female agent we saw earlier. To me she looks like an agent clear but it was agent Daisy Johnson so I just remembered that. So anyway, once you get in there you'll need to destroy those rocks and find this. You then activate it, and those poles will pop out. Since pretty much every female character in this video game is an athletic character, you can use them to jump up here and cross. But this barrier is uncrossable, you could say. That's because you can't, you don't get through here um, on your first try. That's for free play getting a mini kit. You gotta cross over here and find her. Then you follow her to these girls and enter closely, get closer, and it's like, and you get there. So we are now inside this lab here, you could say, and this guy, Gordon, he's like a teleporter, I think? I don't exactly know how to explain him, but anyway, we need to stop him. The female we were attacking earlier, we are actually able to play as her now. So, who's that? That's what we show it. Um, she's right here. So, once you get past the first part, you are able to play as her in the story. And my favorite character in the Agents of Shield DLC, and my second favorite character in the DLC, Agent Leo Fizz, you were also able to play as. Now, I did put him on my top 10 best characters because I didn't have DLC at the time, so be patient with that. Anyway, don't, don't go ahead and right here. He's only supposed to distract you, so don't go after him. You need to play as Agent Daisy Johnson and get close to this glass. Hold B and do that. That will then show this, which we'll need to activate by smashing this and building what's behind it. Which would then activate that. One of three. Now before you say, oh, do we just have to do that two more times? No, it's different each time with most things and with this. So what you do is you go over here and activate this. That will then bring it to this thing right here, which will be activated, but you need to fix it. So what you do then is you go up to it and use Agent Leo Fizz to fix it by holding B. I have the fast fix red recon, so it speeds it up a bit. Anyway, once you've activated that, that would be two of three. By the way, don't touch that. That'll kill you if you get if you hit it enough times. Anyway, once you've done that. 
We will need to go over here and destroy these tables and build something. That will be the generator. You, you then need to go up there and activate it. But as you can see, there's no ladder. And no flying characters. What you do is you get Agent Daisy Johnson and use your gun to hit that. Then you can use either character. And I've tested out with um, her right here. But anyway, use him and maybe her if it works. Climb up this rope ladder and get up here. You then need to activate this. But it took me a while to understand this my first time. What you do is you gotta up this until it gets to green, to the yellow, I mean. Then down this, and then down this, and then it's gotten to the yellow, which will then power on that generator. Or in this case, all three generators. So that, I'm guessing somehow Gordon can pass that, that electricity, so we need to get in. I tested this out with Leo. It hurts the humans. So I'm guessing um, Daisy Johnson here isn't human somehow. Like I said, I don't watch the series. Anyway, you get in there, punch him down, and then Coulson will come, shutting off the... So once Coulson comes out, you'll turn on the, well, in this case, turn off the power, and the emergency power will come on. Then, Gordon will go and steal Daisy Johnson. So what you do then, is you can select the character, and you go in here. Then, this character, whatever his name is, Cal, here, he will turn himself into a monster, and try to kill us. So it'll take him a while to break free, but what you do, is while well, he's coming for you, He'll throw that, then acid bottles, blocking us off, so we can't come and get him. Then he'll come for us and start throwing more. But don't worry, these ones don't make the toxic fog you see here. After a few throws, he will then grab that and throw it at you, like he's doing now. You don't, you gotta dodge that, like I didn't, and throw this. Then, what you gotta do is you gotta make Cal eventually charge into, at you, I mean, and go into that. He will eventually be captured, which brings us to what you do next. There are sparkles here, the kind of sparkles we saw before, previously, and you activate this as Agent Leo Fizz. Once you activate it, eventually, Sometimes hard to do. Anyway, once you activate that, you will need to go over here and kind of twist or whatever he's doing to this. You'll need to pull this by pressing B or whatever console you're on, what's in that section, and it will hammer the door shut so Cal can't escape. And that, and that, is the end of the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. DLC level. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for another video.